Welcome to the channel. It's great to have you joining us. If you're already a subscriber, you know we love you and are very happy to have you back. If not, please take a minute to click on the red box at the bottom right of the screen and subscribe. This really helps the channel. In this video, Larry will be demonstrating how to barbecue pork country style ribs in the slow cooker. They're very tender and delicious. Pair with a baked potato and salad and it just doesn't get much better. So let's get started. Here's Larry. Larry here and welcome to the channel. I'm in town this weekend. Last weekend I was traveling. I was in Raleigh <clears throat> for a family event and now I'm home and I thought since it was a good weekend being Labor Day weekend, I'd fix some ribs in the slow cooker in the crock pot and show you how to do it while I was doing it. I know it's just tomorrow's the day, but I thought I'd go ahead and do it anyway because you don't necessarily have to do it this weekend. So to start with, we're using some country style boneless ribs, pork ribs, and I'm going to start them out by shaking some Himalayan pink salt with black pepper and garlic on both sides and get them kind of doctored up so they'll have a good flavor to begin with. And we'll do both sides and start with putting the ingredients in the pot. Let's get these turned over. This is a really good spice to put on them and there's a link to this on the in the information below in the Amazon purchase links if you'd like to buy some of it. All right next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put the liquid and the spices into the pot so I'll be right back and we'll do that. For this cook I'm gonna be using the Ninja Foodi Possible Cooker Pro. I'm using it just because I really, really like it. It's a great device, a really good appliance, and one of my very favorites. And I'm using the slow cook. So you can use any slow cooker you want. You can use a crock pot, you can use a foodie, you can use an instant pot, anything that'll give you a slow cook. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. And the unit is not turned on yet. So I'm gonna remove the lid, of course. And we're going to go ahead and start with the ingredients. The first thing we're going to put in is honey. We have two tablespoons of honey that we're going to put in. All right, there's the honey. The next ingredient we're going to, <clears throat> we're going to put in will be the brown sugar. And the brown sugar is a third of a cup. Actually, this is a little more than a third cup, but that's okay. And the next ingredient we're gonna put in is the soy sauce. We have a third cup of soy that we're putting in to add a real nice flavor profile. We're gonna put in a ta two tablespoons of smoked paprika to give it a smoky flavor. We're going to put in one full cup of barbecue sauce and you can use your favorite. I'm using Sweet Baby Ray's but just because I have it. Um, it's, it's one of my favorites but not my absolute favorite but I have it so that's what we're going to use. <clears throat> we're going to put in two tablespoons of dried onion flakes. I prefer them. You can put in your own onions if you want to. And a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. And that's everything we have in there. We're going to mix that all up. Mix it together. So it's all blended. And then we're going to put the ribs in and we're going to turn them over a time or two and coat them 
So now that we have that mixed, <clears throat> let's get the ribs in the pot. Here goes, we're going to put the ribs in and kind of turn them so they have sauce on them. And I'll do that with all of them. And then we'll come back on camera. The ribs are all in the pot and they've all been turned over in the sauce so they've all been sauced. We'll close and put the lid on it. One reason I like to, like using this pot too is it's large. It's, it's real big and it has plenty of room for a lot of ribs. Okay, let's go down to the front panel and we'll set it up for cooking and I'll be right there to do that. We're going to set this pot up to cook on slow cook low and on low these need to cook for six to eight hours or you can cook them on high from four to five hours. But we're going to do them on low because we have plenty of time. So let's go to low and we're going to go to seven hours. So we'll split the difference and see how they're doing and we can always adjust it from there. We've got it on seven hours low. We're going to hit start and it's ready to go. We'll check back on them in a couple hours and maybe turn them over so the other side gets sauced and they cook evenly. So I'll be back then and we'll take another look at them. These have been cooking for about four hours now and it's time to turn them as I told you we'd do. And they're looking real good but I think I'm going to turn them up to high because they're not quite as done as I thought they'd be at this point. So we'll bump them up. But they smell amazing. Um, they should, I was thinking they'd be a little bit more tender feeling by now. Of course, they've still got a couple hours to go. So I'm going to bump them up on high and we'll check them again in about an hour and see how they look. These have been cooking now for seven hours. The last two have been on high. And let's take a look. They look perfect. I was actually planning to air fry these to get them brown when they were done, but they're already brown because the brown sugar has caramelized and the honey and they look great. Uh, we all eat with our eyes and I thought these were going to be a bad color but they're actually a, a really good color. You can see, look at them bubbling. Oh they look so good and I wish you could smell them. They smell incredible. I'm going to plate a couple of these up. We're going to cut into them and give them a quick taste and then we'll be done with this video. So I'll be right back. Wow, these look and smell incredible. <clears throat> and as I was taking them out of the pot, and I only took two out, this one here is so tender that it literally fell apart. You can see it's fork tender. Let's give it a taste, it's gonna be real hot. Mmm. Oh my goodness. The sweetness that we get from all the things we added, the honey and the barbecue sauce and the brown sugar, have really made them just have an outstanding flavor. These are good. It's, it's a real winner. I highly recommend you try it. Cook it however you want. In the Ninja, in the um, Speedy, in the any kind of a slow cooker that you have. It'll work. A crock pot. Give it a try. I appreciate more than you know you visiting our channel and watching our video. We hope you bring some, we hope we bring some things to you in every one of our videos that make life a little bit easier or a little bit better for you. And we ask you if you would to please subscribe to our channel. It helps get our message out to more people and make purchases through our Amazon purchase links. That helps the channel as well. It's always good to have you on the channel and we'll see you on the next video.
This is Andrew again, and I'd like to thank you one more time for visiting us for this session. A printed recipe is below, along with Amazon purchase links for items Larry regularly uses on the channel. Enjoy cooking, and we'll see you soon for our next video. Take care.